Don't let diaper rash come between you and your baby. Diaper rash can be one of the worst experiences your little one has to go through, and keeping their delicate skin happy and healthy shouldn't require a spatula to apply thick, goopy treatments that can be just as irritating and uncomfortable as the diaper rash. Instead, try Dr. Mom Butt Balm. Dr. Mom Butt Balm is a pediatrician-approved skin protectant, free of dyes, preservatives, and zinc oxide. It was developed by a mom who is also a doctor when she couldn't find any traditional products products that worked for her baby's persistent diaper rash. Use just a small amount of Dr. Mom Butt Balm to help soothe your baby's skin and feel good about making the right choice. Nothing comes between you and your baby, not even diaper rash. Check out Dr. Mom Butt Balm, available on Amazon or walmart.com. Stop fighting and listen to your body. This actually doesn't mean what you might think. Welcome to the All About Pregnancy and Birth podcast. If you're having a baby in the hospital, you are giving birth in a system that too often takes away power from women over what happens in their own bodies. I'm Dr. Nicole Calloway Rankins, a practicing board certified OBGYN who's had the privilege of helping well over a thousand babies into this world. I've been a doctor for over 20 years and I'm here to help you take back your power, advocate for yourself, and have the beautiful pregnancy and birth that you deserve. This podcast is for educational purposes only, and it's not a substitute for medical advice. Check out the full disclaimer at drnicolerankins.com forward slash disclaimer. Now let's get to it. Hello there. Welcome to another episode of the podcast. Whether this is your first time listening or you've been here before, thank you, thank you, thank you for spending some time with me today. This is a Thursday short episode. These episodes are about 10 minutes each. I release them on Thursdays. And in these episodes, I answer listener questions, share interesting stories from my work, or just share what's on my mind. And today I want to share a couple of really important things with you. One is you don't have to fight for your birth. And the second is listen to your body means listen to your body. Now let me expand on what I mean about that. A lot of social media, and even I've said this before, is this concept of you feel like you have to really fight for your birth. And I understand that, that need to fight. The U.S. system is one that too often takes away power from women over what happens in their own bodies can very often take a patriarchal, do what I say, do approach to birth. It can also be racist or treat people in different ways based on a number of factors. And because of that, you feel the need and understandably so to advocate for yourself. And that can lead to thoughts of feeling like I got to go in here and fight for my birth. And I see this with people coming into the hospital, like almost with their fist up, like I'm about to square up with these doctors, with these nurses in this hospital today. Okay. Because what y'all are not going to do is mess with me, kill me or whatever during my labor and birth experience. And again, I 1000% get that. There's some basis for that based on the way that folks are treated within the system. However, Fighting is not the energy that you want in your birth. Fighting is not conducive to your body relaxing. It's not conducive to getting in harmony with the process of birth. As a matter of fact, fighting, which is often closely related to fear, that can really slow down birth. Indeed, in nature, for mammals, if they are confronted by something where they need to be ready to defend themselves during the birth process or they're scared, labor will literally stop and all of your energy or all of that energy gets put towards fighting, okay? So fighting is not the energy that you want for your birth. Here is what you need to do instead of going into it with this, I gotta fight for my birth, here's what you need to do instead. One is make a birth plan. A birth plan is a great way 
to lay out the things that you want for your birth experience. And the important, the most important piece actually of a birth plan is discussing it during prenatal visits, when things are calm, when you're not in the middle of labor. And when you discuss it during those visits, you will know well in advance what to expect from your doctors, from the hospitals. You will know whether or not they align with what you want for your birth. And if they don't align with what you want for your birth, then you have an opportunity to find a different place or space to give birth, or you have time to really prepare. Maybe you really have a couple of advocates with you. Maybe you decide to get a doula. So instead of just this, I'm gonna go into the hospital fighting, start by that prep during the prenatal visits and having to avoid fighting altogether. That starts with making a birth plan and discussing it during prenatal visits. You can check out my free birth plan class at drnicolerankins.com forward slash birth plan where you can learn how to make a birth plan the right way. Okay, the next thing you need to do is give people a chance to show whether or not they support you and whether or not they are on your side. There are actually a lot of great doctors and hospitals out there, okay? There really are. People do have some great experiences giving birth. Did you know that 95% of pregnant women are not getting their recommended daily intake of key omega-3s? Enter Ritual. Their prenatal contains 350 milligrams of eco-friendly vegan omega-3 DHA in every serving. One of the reasons I like Ritual is that it's a female-founded B Corp meaning they are holding themselves accountable to not just their company's financial health, but also the health of people and our planet. In addition to those omega-3 DHAs to support baby's brain development, Ritual also has choline and methylated folate to support baby's neural tube development. And the capsules feature a delayed release design to help make it gentle on an empty stomach. Why settle for a multivitamin you're not 100% sure about? Ritual was literally built on trust, so you know it's the real deal. Get 25% off your first month for a limited time at ritual.com forward slash Dr. Nicole. Start Ritual or add a Central for Women prenatal to your subscription today. That's ritual.com forward slash Dr. Nicole for 25% off. So instead of going in and automatically assuming that you got to fight, you got to have those fists up that is, you know, about to be on and popping in the hospital, give people a chance to show you where they stand. I feel like I happen to work at a hospital that's really supportive of folks. And when you come in with that, like fighting energy off the bat, it doesn't really necessarily set a great tone. Think about it if someone came at you that way, this sort of fighting energy. So give people a chance to show you whether or not they support you. Now, of course, if things start going sideways and people aren't doing the things that they should be doing to center you and your birth experience, to support you, to take care of you and your baby physically, emotionally, all of those things. And yeah, it is time to fight. It is time to advocate for yourself. It is time to take it up a notch, but start from that place of people being able to show you whether or not they support you. And along with that is instead of that energy of fighting or that adversarial stance from the the beginning, start from a place of trying to connect on a human level. Doctors and nurses, we are actually humans. And sometimes we need to be reminded of our humanity and that the people we care for are humans as well. Living beings with feelings, with emotions, desires, with fears. We need to be reminded of that because we get beat down or burnt down at the system that sometimes requires too much of us or asks too much of us, too many patients, not enough time, all of those things. So say things like, hey doc, exams are really painful for me, so I would like to limit them if possible. Or hey, I'm just really scared because I hear all of the statistics about maternal mortality and that's scary to me. I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want anything to happen to me or my baby during this process. So start with connecting on a human level instead of that energy of fighting or that adversarial start. 
Now, again, if people ain't listening, then come correct and do what you got to do. Take it up a notch or two or three until you get the things that you want. Okay. Or that the things that you need really. Right. But start from that place of that human connection first. All right. And the second thing I want to say is listen to your body means listen to your body. What I mean by that is I see the phrase, I'm going to listen to my body or listen to your body being used in the context of avoiding interventions. And what that may look like is a doctor suggests labor induction or a doctor suggests Pitocin. And the response is, well, I'm not going to do that or you shouldn't do that. You should just listen to your body and let things happen naturally. Well, here's the thing. Nature can be absolutely beautiful, absolutely spectacular, but nature can also be downright ugly. Okay. And sometimes your body is actually telling you that something is wrong or that something needs to be done. And that thing that needs to be done, it may be labor induction. It may be a C-section. It may be breaking your water to help a slowed labor move forward. It may mean that, yes, those elevated blood pressures are true and actually a sign that preeclampsia may potentially be developing. So be open to listening to your body and all of the messages that come through. Don't just selectively say, well, I don't want to do what you say, so I'm going to listen to your body. Actually be open to listening to all all of the messages that your body may be sending. Now, it is, of course, understandably difficult to know if the suggestions that we make are coming from a place of being in your best interest or not. Totally get that. Is the doctor suggesting induction or a C-section because they're just trying to get out the hospital? They're just trying to get things done. I 1000% get that. That is where childbirth education is going to be incredibly helpful. Childbirth education is going to help you understand and know what is going on in your body, helps you know what to expect. It is so, so important. You have to do some childbirth education. And I have my online childbirth education class, the birth preparation course. You can check it out at drnicolerankins.com forward slash enroll. But there are lots of childbirth education options out there. So definitely please get childbirth education. And that way you can know if the suggestions that we make are coming from a place of being honest, forthcoming, evidence-based, and in your best interest. All right. So there you have it. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast. That's the only way you're going to get notified about these Thursday episodes. And I would so appreciate it if you leave me an honest review in Apple podcast helps the show to grow. And I do shout outs from those reviews as well. So that's it for this episode. Do come on back next week and remember that you deserve a beautiful pregnancy and birth. Oh, 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 oh,